Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be part two of my fall fashion haul video. So if you're interested in watching, then let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, you guys, so I will first start off with accessories, then shoes, and then go on to the rest of the clothing pieces um, that I didn't share with you in part one. And if you have not checked out part one of my video, I will leave a link to it down below. Um, be sure to grab a chicken dinner and a few cups of tea before you start that video. Just a helpful hint, okay? All right, so as far as accessories go, the first thing that I purchased was a new pair of sunglasses. And I am utterly obsessed with these sunglasses. And they are by my all-time favorite sunglass designer, Karen Walker. Um, I have been a longtime fan of Karen Walker sunglasses and a longtime collector at this point of Karen Walker sunglasses for at least three or four years now. If I had to choose any sunglass designer or brand to wear forever, it would by far be Karen Walker. Nonetheless, the pair that I purchased are the Simone sunglasses, and I'll just go ahead and put them on really quickly just so you guys can get a better idea. They're very quirky, very oversized. As you can see, they have a black lens with kind of a gold wire frame. I'm obsessed with these. I believe these are part of her new collection. Um, and of course, I will leave a link to these and everything that is still available down below in the description bar loving these sunglasses and yes in the fall you can still wear sunglasses I feel like people think that you can't wear sunglasses in the fall but this is not true you can so loving these the next accessory that I picked up was a new beanie I am obsessed with hats I love hats for all year round purposes and of course I had to pick up a beanie for the fall winter time this is just an opening ceremony beanie as you can see gray and then it just has the white and black opening ceremony label here I picked this up from Shopbop when they had their, I believe it's the friends and family 30% off of everything sale. So this was originally $40 and I think I got it for $30. So I didn't really think that was too bad at all. And it is a pretty good um, construction and material. So I'm looking forward to wearing that when it does cool off a little bit. The next accessory piece that I purchased was a belt. This is also something that I purchased from the Shopbop friends and family sale. This is the Toy Birch Gemini belt. And this is a part of her new Gemini collection. I actually did get my hands on the Gucci belt which I thought I wanted and when I got it I just didn't love it as much as I thought I would. It was still a little bit too gaudy for me and as much as I am loving Gucci right now and as many pieces that I have right now that are Gucci particularly shoes um, for some reason I just wasn't obsessed with the belt so I ended up returning it and I purchased this Toy Birch belt instead just because I think it still has a great pop of gold. I love that it is kind of like a um it's not a super high shine gold it's more like an antique gold um and it really doesn't have a huge um logo on it i think that was why i was a little bit hesitant on the gucci belt nonetheless love this i believe this was one 195 and then again i got it for 30 percent off during the shop up um friends and family sale so loving this and last but certainly not least as far as my accessories go well two things um i don't know if you guys can see these earrings that i'm wearing very well i will try to leave a picture somewhere in this video of them these are a pair of earrings that i purchased from mango about two weeks ago um i have been eyeing these for about a month or so so i just decided to go ahead and pick these up loving these i was a little bit nervous that they might break me out just because they're obviously not like gold um, or even gold filled. So I was a little bit nervous, but surprisingly, I wore these all day on Friday and I did not itch or scratch at all. So I'm very happy with these. And these were $10 and I think shipping was $5. So not too bad obviously in price and then i also picked up another pair of earrings which i am loving statement earrings right now they are probably one of the bigger accessory trends for fall and even going into the spring summer season so the next thing that i purchased was another pair of earrings and again i don't know how well you guys can see these i will try to do a close-up or i will insert a picture somewhere on the screen but these are by my new favorite jewelry designer by the name of jenny bird i believe she is a canadian jewelry designer and i am obsessed with her pieces they're all kind of like statement jewelry but they're all very minimalistic at the same time if I can put those two together um, and I am obsessed with these and I think these were $75 and then I had a um, or you could get a $20 off coupon if you spent $75 or more so I ended up paying $55 for these which I really didn't think was bad at all considering I've seen a lot of earrings this design um, that start off at about $100 so I didn't think $55 were a lot at 
all and they're not super heavy they look like they could be heavy but they're not all right next up I will go ahead and jump into shoes I have about five pairs of shoes to show you um, some of these shoes you guys have seen on my blog or if you follow me on Instagram or if you even follow me on snapchat that you might have seen these a while ago but I just figured since they are still pretty new to my wardrobe I would just go ahead and share them in a haul video nonetheless these have to be my first obsessions right now and these are by um, a designer called Aurora James who is the founder of Brother Bellies and I really won't go into too much detail but essentially she created this company and everything is handmade um, from artisans in Africa everything is kind of sustainably made in Africa different parts of Africa and of course I had to support her she's not only helping to create jobs in Africa but as an African-American woman you know we gotta support each other so I am obsessed with these they are not for everyone um, they are pretty much kind of like into the furry sandal trend but again I just love these because they're different they're cool um, as you can see they are in a beautiful kind of grayish color um, <clears throat> excuse me and they are real hair I don't know what kind of hair these are but I know that they are real um, because they were expensive so um, really obsessed with these and I know you're thinking sandals and we're going we're in fall and going into winter yes I live in California so we do have our days where we can actually still wear slides or sandals um, give or take so loving these and I actually did wear these on my Instagram so if you are not following me on Instagram then you should because you will have seen what I wore these with so loving these the next pair of shoes are just a pair of meals that I purchased actually back in the summertime but I have yet to actually wear these on my blog and these are just by um, Vince Camuto and as you can see they are just a pair of chestnut brown um, mules I am obsessed with mules I don't know if you guys some of you follow me on snapchat I literally wear mules every day like it's almost sickening um, this one pair of shoes that I wear every day and I'm just obsessed with the fact that these are so easy to style you can easily just throw these on with anything jeans dresses skirts doesn't matter they go with everything and these are what I kind of like to call brown girl friendly um, and the fact that the tone of brown really complements I feel like brown girls who are my complexion or even a little bit darker or even a little bit lighter um, but I don't know I feel like it's sometimes hard to find shoes that mimic um, brown skin tone well and for me when I do brown I like to do a nude and by nude I mean my complexion nude not like cream or vanilla that's not nude for me that's just tan um so for me these are um perfect for my complexion and I love that I can wear these with pretty much everything that I have in my wardrobe especially neutral colors and again these are Vince Camuto and I actually scored these from QVC randomly for I think $30 um, again in the summertime so I don't think these are available any longer but if they are link will be down below next pair of shoes you would have seen if you follow my blog or again if you follow me on Instagram these are just a pair of super bright I'm sure they're picking up on camera um, hot pink fluorescent J crew flats I saw the these originally I believe these were 200 and something dollars and I pretty much knew I was gonna wait until they went on sale and they went on major sale and of course I had to grab them I'm loving this whole lace up detail I love the eyelet detail on the shoe as well I don't know if you guys can see that very well but um, yeah I'm loving these they add a perfect pop of color to any look even in the fall winter I typically always wear color I'm not someone who gravitates to a lot of grays and blacks and neutrals during the fall I am pretty much always still in color during the fall season so I think these are a great addition to my fall wardrobe and of course they will be great for spring summer as well so the next pair of shoes you guys definitely would have seen particularly if you follow me on snapchat that you would have seen these a while ago which is why you should be following me on snapchat and instagram because you definitely do get little hints and sneak peeks of things that um, you guys might see later here that you would first see over there so be sure to follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. Nonetheless, these are a pair of creepers and I got so many questions between Instagram and Snapchat, particularly the first on Snapchat, if these were the Stella McCartney creepers. And no, they are not the Stella McCartney creepers. Um, and it's crazy because I was actually having this conversation with my friend Nico, who um, also has a YouTube channel. I will leave his channel down below. And we were talking about the Stella McCartney creepers and just how it's kind of crazy that they're $1,000 and they're not real leather if you know anything about Stella McCartney then you would know that she does not use real leather she is animal 
I guess an animal rights activist. I don't really know the proper terminology, but she doesn't use real leather um, on anything. Any of her shoes, her bags, her clothing pieces. Everything is vegan leather slash faux leather. And we were just kind of saying like, what are you charging a thousand dollars for? It's kind of crazy. Nonetheless, I scored these from a brand or a company called Windsor and um, I knew these were going to sell out when it came to fall. So I did purchase these back in like June or July. They are currently sold out unfortunately, but I do know that they tend to restock these because they sold out immediately after I purchased these and then they came back in stock. So I will leave a link to um, the page, but just be sure if you are interested in these to keep an eye on them because they are sold out at the moment. These were $36. I am obsessed with these. I cannot tell you A, how comfortable they are and B, how much of a cool statement they are to any look. I actually um, wore these on my blog recently in a post, so I will leave a link to that post down below so you can see how I styled these. Loving these and I definitely will be wearing these a lot more as we ease into the winter season. All right, and last but certainly not least are um, a pair of ankle boots from Aldo. I recently purchased these just last week, so I'm sure you guys haven't seen these anywhere um, on my social media accounts, but these are a pair of patent leather ankle boots as you can see I actually saw these last fall winter season and I decided not to get them and I think it was because I was a little bit nervous on how to style patent leather I've always kind of felt like or I always felt like patent leather was a little bit more formal a little bit more dressy which it is but I guess I just didn't know or um, feel comfortable styling it in a more casual way but I feel as though now I'm a little bit more kind of fashion forward a little bit more trendy and just a little bit more willing to kind of like take risk on kind of finishes that I wouldn't typically take risks on so I'm loving these and you guys these are currently on clearance for 30 $39.99 I actually got these for an additional 15% off because I signed up for their newsletters which I recommend you guys doing it's always a quick way to get an additional discount and then I also had these shipped to my local auto store so I wouldn't have to pay shipping so in total I think these were $36 which again um, obviously is a great price point and I'm loving these particularly because of the fit I am super particular when it comes to ankle boots and the fit around the ankle I don't like when ankle boots are too short nor do I like when ankle boots um there's a big gap in between your ankle and the like opening of the shoe these fit my ankles so well it almost kind of like resembles that sock style ankle boot that we're seeing a lot of right now but they are shorter and patent leather but I'm obsessed with these and they're comfortable um I wouldn't say like all day comfortable because they're not made the best but they are comfortable for the most part so I will leave a link to these down below because I know that when I purchased these there were not a lot of sizes available and again because they are clearance it will go quickly so if you're interested definitely check these out ASAP and of course you guys know I had to feature some clothing pieces in this haul video so I will just go ahead and jump right in the first thing that I purchased is this made well um, one shoulder ruffle silk dress I actually saw this um, during the summer because I guess it was a part of their like summer spring summer collection um, and I pretty much just decided to wait until it went on sale I liked it but I didn't love it enough to get it at the time and it did go on sale I believe it was 50 something dollars they had an additional 30% off so I scored this for I believe 30 six dollars and I'm loving this and even though this is particularly great for spring summer I personally will be layering this with long sleeve shirts um, body suits which you guys will see a few coming up um, for the winter season and pairing them with ankle boots as well as leather jackets I think it's great if you are able to take some spring summer pieces and able to transition transition them into the fall winter season because you really are getting dual purpose for your pieces so definitely recommend doing that and speaking of bodysuits and layering pieces, the first bodysuit, as you can see, that I purchased is from Boohoo. Um, turtleneck or kind of like a mock neck um, more so. And as you can see, it is in a gray color. I'm loving the idea of layering right now with turtlenecks and particularly with bodysuits. I think it's a great way to kind of seamlessly and easily um, layer under your dresses or really under anything and have a really kind of like clean finish. Sometimes certain shirts or certain tops can be bulky um, when you are trying to layer with them so I think bodysuits are a great way to do so and again from Boohoo and I think this was like $12 so loving that 
The next piece that I purchased is yet another piece um, from the Who Would Wear Target collection. You guys, these ladies are putting out some amazing pieces right now for the fall season. I have kept an eye on their pieces ever since they came into Target. And I think this collection for fall winter has by far been my favorite. I don't know how many pieces I already have. And I actually have my eye on a few more pieces um, from the fall winter collection. Nonetheless, if you follow me on Snapchat, I know I said that a million times. But for real, if you follow me on Snapchat, then you would have saw a a little sneak piece of peek of this in an outfit of the day that I wore the other day um, with kind of like a cropped oversized red sweater that I purchased I don't know two or three years ago from H&M and my red and white Stan Smith Adidas loving this and you guys I think this was like $25 and I kid you not this a fits beautifully and this does not look like $25 and if you don't believe me go to target.com and look up this skirt and read all of the amazing reviews on this skirt um, people are obsessed with this including myself and it also does come in like a mossy green color I almost purchased that color but I don't necessarily know that I can really incorporate that really well or seamlessly into my wardrobe but nonetheless obsessed with the black one and I do recommend it very much so all right so this next piece is um yet another knit well not yet another knit because I haven't shown you a knit so this is a knit um sweater or jumper um that I purchased from ASOS and I also as you can see purchased the matching skirt and hopefully the camera is picking up but it is like a wrap style skirt I am obsessed with wrap style bottoms if you guys remember part one and showing you my tibby cool ups those were also kind of like a wrap style detail I'm obsessed with this skirt loving everything about it I'm loving how we're seeing knit pieces in different forms and variations this fall season loving this set I love that fact that I can obviously wear these together and then I can also wear these separately I think this sweater actually goes really well with my top and bottom pajama inspired um, set that I also purchased from ASOS and also featured in part one of my video. So if you haven't seen part one, I will leave a link to it down below. Um, but yeah, I am loving this set right now. And then the next piece that I purchased is from H&M. I will turn it around so you can see it properly. And this is a one shoulder, um, pretty much t-shirt. I feel like for the spring summer season, we saw a lot of off the shoulders but right now for the fall winter season we are seeing a lot of one shoulder things so I saw this on H&M and H&M is kind of random because they will have like random promotions and this will be on sale for like a dollar today and then be twenty dollars tomorrow which is why you kind of have to keep your eye on H&M nonetheless I scored this on sale for $5.99 you guys and when I tell you I love this little t-shirt I love this little t-shirt I think it's super cool it's super edgy it's a great way to kind of test out this one shoulder trend and see if you like it without having to spend a ton of money because obviously for $5.99 I mean that's not a ton of money and really even if you only wear it a few times it was six dollars so it is what it is nonetheless I love this I love this with jeans I love this with pleated skirts um, or even the pajama bottoms or inspired bottoms that I'm wearing right now I think this will be a great addition to my um, fall wardrobe and obviously you can wear this during the spring summer season as well next up from H&M is another gray piece and this is just a really oversized chunky knit sweater as I said we are seeing a lot of oversized chunky knits this fall winter season I am here for it even as a Californian it does get cold here in the Bay Area so I am loving this and I love the fact that it has a mock neck I tend to overheat very easily so getting something that is a full like full on turtleneck is not really conducive to my like body temperature but I love the fact that this is a slight mock neck again very oversized very easy I scored this again when it was like a random sale or promotion for $12.99 I do believe it is originally $24.99 so really can't beat that it did come in a few other colors kind of wish I would have gotten it in this like forest green color but I'm sure it will go on sale again at some point and I did get this in a size large could have gotten a medium but I again don't mind that really oversized look and and yeah, I'm really happy with this. And then the next piece is yet another gray piece from H&M. And this is kind of like a cropped sweatshirt. It's not super cropped like... 
I don't know, like waist cropped, but it is a little bit shorter than the typical length of a sweatshirt. Um, and the reason that I purchased this in particular is because I think that when you are trying to wear like chunkier pieces with skirts or things that are like more of a mid rise or a high rise, it is sometimes annoying when certain pieces are too bulky and it gives you added bulge in the stomach area. So I wanted to get something that was a little bit more cropped. So when I did tuck it into a pleated skirt or something like um, mid rise jeans, means I wouldn't have a ton of bold in the front and I'm loving the kind of athleisure trend that's also happening right now so I thought that to get the cropped length as well as something that was a little bit more on the athleisure side was a great combination this was $17.99 but I think I paid $12.99 for this because again it was on like a random sale so loving this and I think it comes in a few other colors that I think I will um, eventually get just because it's so basic and simple and I can easily mix and match this with so many other things in my wardrobe all right, so moving right along, this dress, you guys, obsessed. So this is a maxi length dress. Hopefully you guys can see it from um, Forever 21. Um, again, I know, if you follow me on Snapchat, you would have seen a sneak peek of this, I think maybe like two or three days ago. When I tell you, I got so many compliments on this Forever 21 dress, it doesn't even make sense. And not only that, but when I said, or when people asked me where it was from and I said Forever 21, people were literally like, shut up. Like, shut up. That's not from Forever 21. Yeah, girl, it's from Forever 21. And literally, my boss thought this was Ula Johnson, where if you know Ula Johnson pieces, a dress like this, Ula Johnson, is like $600. No lie. So um, this just goes to show you if you kind of keep what I like to call an editor's eye on things like um, or on certain pieces from places like Forever 21, you can really come across some great things that don't necessarily look like they are from Forever 21. Nonetheless, I know I said I'm very particular when it comes to florals. I am very particular when it comes to florals, but I am really enjoying florals right now, especially these kind of vampier, um, more not gothic florals but just very vampy florals that we're seeing right now for the fall winter season as i mentioned in part one um loving the kind of details we're seeing this kind of ruffle trend again going on that i'm obsessed with tie neck details even though i tend to wear or i wore this open um and again it is I don't know if you guys can see this. Um, again, it is kind of ruffly at the bottom and then it is sheer, pretty much like mid-thigh down. So I am obsessed with this dress. I believe it was $27. So you really cannot go wrong with that. And I am very excited to have that in my wardrobe. All right, you guys, thank you so much um, again for watching. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, you already know, leave me a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you are not already subscribed. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.